everybody, I'm meteorologist Ryan Davidson. We're talking about the jet stream today. What is the jet stream? You hear it about it on television. You hear about it from meteorologists all the time. I'm going to tell you what the jet stream is. First of all, let's take a look at the Earth. We've got these narrow band of really high speed winds, right? They're really high in the atmosphere, about 40 thousand feet up in the atmosphere and they blow generally west east following the temperature boundaries across the northern hemisphere. So you'll get those colder temperatures to the north and those warmer temperatures to the south. The biggest differences in these temperatures generally happen between 30 degrees and 50 degrees and that's where you have the subtropical jet at 30 degrees north and the polar jet near 50 degrees north. And so then what happens is you'll get these really fast pieces of 150 mile an hour winds and that even areas can reach up to 275 miles per hour. So really strong winds in the core of some of those jet streams. In a better direction, you can say if you were taking a plane from Atlanta to New York, it would take an hour and 30 minutes flying with the jet stream. Now on the other side of that, if you were to fly against a jet stream from New York to Atlanta, that same flight could take you two hours and 45 minutes and you'd be moving against the jet stream. And the jet stream generally divides between different types of air masses. We're going to be talking about that in our next clip. 